Good evening, my family. We're in the kitchen again tonight. Um, I had already pre-cooked our spaghetti squash. Um, I had showed you in another video about cooking these in the round. So I got to thinking, I wonder if using that same process, if I can go ahead and do this in half sections. Sure enough, it actually worked. So the same process that I had taught you when you cut Put them on a rack and then season it with salt let them sit there and sweat for a while at least 30 minutes to, or 15 to 30 minutes pat them dry this worked the same way so we're going to go ahead and make a mediterranean low carb spaghetti squash on the side and we're going to have some baked flounder i am actually going to be doing a tomato basil feta spinach mix for this spaghetti squash. Hubby does not like feta, so I'm actually going to be making some shredded gouda. Sorry about the engine noise, y'all. Again, my husband is trying to fix his dad's truck. He's still working on it. This is still the same day. Now the feta that I'm actually going to be using is a homemade feta. I have not bought feta in six months. Since I started learning how to make my own. This is a half gallon full and I just made a new batch. So this is what I'm going to be using. I will show you an example of what it looks like. Get a piece out of here. It's still a nice block. Look at that. It's a beautiful block of feta. So I am super excited. I love this. It takes me quite a bit. And honestly, um, it has cost me. I bought my rennet tablets and I bought the uh, calcium chloride online on Amazon. That will take me several cheese makings because I think there's like 10 or more per package. And all I need is a $3 and 60 something cents gallon of milk. And I'm coming home and making feta cheese compared to other prices where they're so so much higher anywhere from six to seven dollars so i'm making my own and i get a big block of feta so this is what we're going to do and i'm going to show you how to do it so let's get cooking okay i'm going to start with just a simple baking of my flounders um, occasionally at, during the Mediterranean I love to work with fish fish is a very good side hubby doesn't particularly like fish but I do try to incorporate it at least at least once or twice a week sometimes I kind of push it and go another extra week for him because he's not really fond of it but I want him to get his fish anyways so and I am NOT frying these up I prefer to bake them Although I have fried them up and then I use the low carb breading mix, which I had shared in several videos before. So I'm just going to go ahead and get these in the pan and I am going to season these with some uh, lemon juice. I'm going to put some ghee on this instead of butter and some lemon pepper seasoning and Mediterranean seasoning. Simple nothing fancy a good way for us to incorporate fish into our diet and not making it be such a chaotic deal so i've got my oven preset because we did cook the squash so once i get all of this seasoned off i'm gonna put these in the oven and let these bake and then we are going to go in ahead and making our mediterranean um, feta mix for our spaghetti squash Okay, so we have our fish seasoned. We have our ghee, which will give that nutty flavor to this fish. We have some lemon pepper that I purchased from the Amish store because I believe that their food or their um, seasonings are so much more better in flavor when, it, when I can't get it or do it homemade. And then we have some Greek Mediterranean seasoning sprinkled on top. This is now going to go in the oven at 350 degrees and we're gonna bake these until they're done this is a really quick healthy meal for anybody and this is the reason why I'm going ahead and showing you 
these are ingredients that are not too far out where people can't really afford to eat healthier this is actually um, you can put as much as you want as little as you need however make it one person two people however but you're going to put nutrients in your body so and instead of going ahead and using like the recipe calls for it calls for a block that goes in a baking dish and all this goes in your oven i'm just going to use a simple skillet now i'm not going to use a full block because to me that would be a waste for one person so i'm going to be using crumbles in mine at the end i'm going to change this recipe up a bit but I'm gonna to try to use the same ingredients. So I'm gonna bring you closer to the frying pan and show you how the um, toppings for the spaghetti squash is gonna go. Okay, so right now we are going to start out with approximately, we we'll start on medium high heat, about a tablespoon of olive oil, and just a little bit more than that, it's not gonna hurt it. Now, I will tell you this calls for mushrooms, and let's go to the mushrooms, the fact that I have been canning. Um, I did a canning recipe, I believe, in the segments of these videos on how to can um, mushrooms. This was my first year. I was kind of worried or wondering if we would even like it. Now, I'm concerned if we're going to have enough. They turned out so good and so beneficial to us that... I'm rethinking next year about maybe doubling my batch for next winter. So these are the things that when I say work out extremely well, I will write them down, document it, especially when it comes to a pantry challenge. This is when I make all of my notes. Mushrooms will be one that I am absolutely going to redo again. So I'm going to bring our oil up to heat and I will be right back. All right, y'all, the oil is now up to heat. I may have to turn it down just a little bit. I'm using about eight ounces of my home canned mushrooms. The recipe calls for eight ounces of Baby Bellas. These are sliced Baby Bellas that were home canned. This is gonna be perfect for just our squash for the two of us. Now I'm going to add two cups of grape tomatoes is what the recipe says. Mind you, you know we, we do this for two people. So I am going to be adding this whole. Now I am also going to be adding um, a lid to this in just a moment because we are going to burst these tomatoes. We're going to put them in here whole, just like so. And yes, these were already prepared and washed, y'all. I'm just going to go ahead and add a few more of these, about a cup's worth, maybe a cup and a half. We do like tomatoes, so now I'm going to let this sit in here until these burst a little bit. I'm going to put a lid on it. And then once these tomatoes burst, we will be right back. Okay, y'all, so the cherry, or the little tomatoes have now burst, so now we're going to go ahead and add the rest of our ingredients. Um, the rest of the recipe, and you know I am going to put these in the description box below. I always add the recipes for you. I'm going to use a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes in this. Just to add just a little bit of spice. You're not going to use a whole lot of it. I'm going to add about four cloves of garlic, roughly chopped. So that would be, I'm going to go with at least about a tablespoon, about two teaspoons. We'll go from there. I can always add more of this later. I'm going to need about a quarter cup of chopped basil, fresh basil, some black pepper, about a half teaspoon of crack, uh, cracked black pepper, and I'm not going to be adding any salt to this because the salt's going to come from my feta cheese. So now I'm going to take this and mix this all up. 
just like so. Look how colorful. This is what I love about Mediterranean food. The coloring is absolutely amazing. And when you mix this with that yellow squash, oh my goodness, y'all. Let's see if we can see that up close. Flavorful, wholesome, simple. And now I'm going to turn the heat off of this. Now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add some of this... Um, Oh, what do you call it? The uh, sorry about that. The yellow spaghetti squash, but I am not going to add the cheese to it. I will add the cheese when we go to plate it. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. At the moment, I'm also going to add in about a half of a lemon with lemon juice. Again, I don't have any fresh lemons, so I'm just going to estimate here about a teaspoon of lemon juice is all I'm going to use. Now, like I said, I'm doing this different than what the recipe originally said because hubby does not like feta cheese. So now I'm going to go and get my yellow squash or my spaghetti squash and I am actually going to shred that and we're going to add that to this mix. Okay, y'all, so I have mixed our spaghetti squash in with our tomato and um, mushroom mix. You can add also some spinach to this if you wanted to. I'm actually going to add a side salad to our plate. I'm going to dress this up with a little bit of green onions, just like so. And then I'm going to sprinkle this one with some homemade feta cheese. I'm just going to break these up in pieces, put it on top. And this is going to be the side to our fish. And that's what you see here is the baked fish. I'm going to go ahead and add just a small bit more of this. And like I said, hubby's going to get his is going to be some uh, shredded Gouda. So if you're not a fan of this, you can even use goat cheese if you wanted to. That would be absolutely amazing in this. So that's the plating. And I will give you a better visual of this in just a second. And there you guys go. There is the close-up of our meal tonight. Beautiful Mediterranean, absolute low carb, very nutritious, healthy, and these are actually wholesome foods, nothing processed. Like I said, I am going to be adding a side salad to this, and we are getting ready to eat. This took approximately 30 minutes altogether to make. Now, well, I take that back. It took about an hour because it took 30 to 45 minutes in a 350 degree oven to cook the yellow squash so between that and this meal a total of one hour and hey we have a beautiful meal so i hope you enjoyed this i love you all dearly we are hungry the family's about to eat so much love from parton's heritage homestead